It's really important that learners know fluently the numbers that add together to make five as a stepping stone to getting to the numbers together that add together to make ten. And this is because we live in a base 10 number system. And so if we know what goes together to make 10, that will be the basic building block that allows us to build all other addition and subtraction facts on. So to get on the top of the numbers that add together to make 5, a simple use of little hand games where you can flash the number of fingers with some fingers up and some fingers down will enable you, for example, if you've got four fingers up and one finger down, to see that four and one makes five. So these kind of games where you flash your fingers and say, what have we got here? Four and one makes five, you know, flash another one, three and two makes five, um, really will help learners to get on top of that, that those set of facts quickly and easily. We then want learners to connect those flashed fingers to sets of addition and subtraction number sentences. So, for example, here we've got 3 and 2 making 5, which we can write like that. And, of course, because the equals to sign just means that things on both sides are equal, we can also write it as 5 is equal to 3 plus 2. And we can just reverse that and see 2 and 3 makes 5, and again written both ways. And you get equivalent subtraction, quest, subtraction sentences. 5, take away those two fingers, gives you 3. Or 5, take away the three up fingers, leaves you with 2. Once learners are familiar with the numbers that go together to make 5, they can then move on to the numbers that go together to make 10. And we want them to really know very fluently this whole list of um, addition and subtraction pairs that go together to make 10. Now this looks like a long list, but obviously they don't need to learn the whole long list. Because if you just hone in here, with this set of fingers, you can see 8 up fingers and 2 down fingers are the happy little pair that go together to make the 10 fingers all together. And from that simple fact that you've got an 8 and 2 that you can see in your hands, you know these facts here, that 8 plus 2 is 10, 2 plus 8 is 10, also 10 minus 2 is 8, and 10 minus 8 is 2. So learners need to become very fluent in those pairs, which they can do by simply kind of, again, simple kind of finger flash games where we see, okay, it's 8 and 2, or 7 and 3. And then they need to connect them to the addition and subtraction facts so that they can then know, because they know of the pair 8, 2, that 10 minus 2 is 8. So there's the simple list of pairs that we want them to be very, very familiar with and then connect those to the addition and subtraction sentences.